Hello everybody, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me in the spiritual space for practice this evening. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Judy. I'm a full-time yoga teacher from Cape Town, South Africa, currently based inside of my home. So welcome into my space. And thank you all so much for being here this evening. This is such a beautiful platform and a beautiful opportunity for us to connect despite distance, um, despite space and time. So thank you. And it is no secret to anyone that we are on a wild ride at the moment. Um, each and every one of us is going to be having our own experience of this shifting, changing and challenging time as a lot of our foundation, the systems in which we've been engaged in are changing, dismantling, maybe aren't even there at all anymore. Um, so this can be a time of limbo, a time of uncertainty, uh, feelings of fear, groundlessness. So what a beautiful time to connect inward. So to take all of that, let it be what it is and come back home inside to the space that is beyond space and time, that is beyond the structures that we've put in place in our human experience to exist. Um, this deep place within all of us that is accessible. So that is my uh, intention for practice this evening, is to gain some access into that space. And for me, the first step of getting there or moving inward is to acknowledge how you feel. The feelings, they are there, they serve a purpose, they give us information and they connect us to the present moment and what is happening right here and right now. And that is the gateway um, inside. So if anything else, I invite you to feel into whatever it is you are sitting with on your mats today and to use the four corners of your mat as a safe space to explore that feeling. So we'll use movement a beautiful way to ignite feeling and sensation in your body and also to transform it and move it and shift it if it's a bit stagnant or stuck. So really the invitation here is to feel and be with your breath, be with your body and allow, give yourself permission to be present. Okay, so we'll start with a little meditation in stillness just to come in We'll move into a flow practice, nice and slow. Please listen to your body. We'll finish off with Shavasana, a bit of a sound experience. So make your way to a comfortable seated position. You can either sit with your legs crossed like I am, or you can sit onto your knees and your shins if crossed legs is not accessible for your hips today. You may even grab a block, a book, or a pillow if you find your knees are right up towards your shoulders and your hips are quite tight, and this will help to open out and find a more comfortable seat for your meditation. Okay, and then place your hands down comfortably on your knees or your thighs. Make any last little movement that you need to in order to get comfortable here in the seat. And in your own time, soften your eyes to close. Feel the weight of your sitting bones root you down. And then the length of your spine draw you up towards the ceiling, towards the sky. And 
Notice your breath. Without trying to change it, or feeling that you have to, just notice it. How deep does it go? How short is it? Where does it get stuck? How does it feel to notice your breath? Maybe there is a particular sensation that rises in your body as you notice your breath. So take it all in here. The softness of your body, the tightness of your body, Spaces that feel hollow and spacious and spaces that feel congested. Spaces that we want to turn our attention away from, even. Just notice. And through your nose, take a long, slow inhale and a soft sigh out your mouth. Exhale. Drop your awareness down now to the base of your spine. The foundation and the beginning of your chakra energy system. And imagine there, right down the base of your spine, a little glowing ember of red. A small glow. And then imagine that little ember glowing just a bit brighter. So you're inviting this energy center to open, to be receptive to your practice and to whatever you feel today. And trace your awareness up slightly to the space just below your navel, second chakra, a little glowing ember of orange in the space. And then imagine that little ember start to burn a little brighter. And that brightness sending energy up towards your solar plexus to another little burning ember of yellow. And feel that start to burn a little brighter, just slightly opening up and then sending energy up to your heart space, the space near your sternum, this little glowing ember of green. And 
allow that to start to burn a bit brighter, to open. Give yourself permission. And then moving up to your throat. Little burning ember of blue. Give that permission to start to open. Burn a little brighter. And keep your breath. Notice it when you become distracted, just step back into its rhythm. And then from your throat space, moving up between your brows. Indigo. Burning ember. Allow that to burn a bit brighter, to expand and to open. And then right to the crown of your head, this violet light, growing small to start and then gently allowing it to open. receptive to receive the movement of energy in your body to allow it the safe space the four corners of your mat and with your breath as your anchor and your guide take a deep inhale Reach your arms up alongside your ears. Hold here as you exhale, soften your shoulders. You feel that draw upward as you root down. Take another deep inhale, stretch your fingers up. Exhale, draw your hands together in prayer at your heart center and bring your palms to touch. Your own intuitive intention rises to your awareness. Take a moment to acknowledge that here. Bring a gentle bow of your forehead in towards your fingertips. You can bring your chin back to center and release your hands down onto your knees. Okay, start to take some shoulder loops. Bring your shoulders up towards your ears, back and down your spine a couple times. You're welcome to close your eyes and take this work inside at any time to feel whatever is good for you. And breath. In and out of your nose, keep your lips gently sealed together. And change the direction of your shoulder loops. So bring your shoulders from behind up and forward and down. And finish off your last circle and come back to center, hands on your knees or thighs. And then start to circle with your chest. So we'll take your chest over to the right side first, slightly lean there. Then forward, take your chest out, maybe you roll your shoulders back and squeeze your shoulder blades. Then chest over to the left side and then curl and round through your spine, tuck your tailbone Chin slightly in towards your chest as you shift your weight back. 
and then chest over to the right hand side send it forward open through your heart your collarbones to the left and then roll back a couple rounds here and you can make this movement as big and juicy as you would like or as small and contained as you need And as you move, begin to synchronize long, deep breathing with movement. And it may be difficult at first to connect to your breath. There may be some busyness in your mind. Let that be okay. Allow your thoughts to wander. And then just bring them back to your breath when you notice it. Okay, change the direction of your circles, big, small. You can get as much of your shoulders and your neck and your head involved as you would like. swirling this vortex of energy in your body. I feel one or two more circles and then we'll meet back at center, shoulders over your hips, long spine, sit up tall, take an inhale, and take an exhale. Now uncross your legs. Bring your fingertips to your mat, just in front of your hips. Navasana boat pose, a supported one with your fingertips down. Lift your feet up, magnetize your knees in towards your chest, activate through your toes. If this is really not working and you want some support, you can bring your hands behind your thighs. Just three breaths here. Open through your collarbones, lengthen up. And take an inhale, exhale, cross your ankles and your shins, move to child's pose at the back of your mat, toes to touch, knees wide, rest your hips down towards your heels, you can use a block or a pillow if your hips don't quite reach, and then bring your fingertips forward and surrender your belly in between your thighs. Okay, take an inhale and Lengthen your fingertips, walk them a little bit further forward. And then as you exhale, ground your sitting bones down and relax your shoulders away from your ears. And then expand your breath into your belly, into your upper, middle and lower back. Take a deep breath in and a gentle sigh. Okay, rise to your tabletop position. Come forward onto all fours. Shift your knees underneath your hips and your shoulders in line with your wrists. Okay, inhale, cow pose. Dip your belly, lift your chin, open through your chest. Exhale, cat pose, round your shoulder blades, tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone and press into your mat. Inhale, cow, synchronize breath with movement, open your collarbones wide. Exhale, cat, round chin to chest, tuck your tailbone and press. Two more, inhale. Exhale, cat, round. And one more inhale, cow, feel into your spine. Exhale, cat, chin to chest, round. Okay, come back to tabletop with a neutral spine. Inhale your right arm up to the sky. Hold here and breathe. Roll your right wrist clockwise and anti-clockwise. 
We're going to take an inhale and reach a little higher. Exhale, thread the needle right arm underneath your left. Bring your right cheek and your shoulder to your mat and then extend your left fingertips forward along your left ear. Wrap your hips square. If you notice your left hip move forward, hug it back slightly. Come back to your breath. Walk your left arm back underneath your shoulder. Inhale, reach your right arm up to the sky. Open your chest, lean back. Exhale, tabletop, bring your right hand back to your mat. Okay, inhale, reach your left arm up to hold and breathe. Roll through your wrist, get some movement into your joints, wiggle your fingertips. And then take another inhale and reach even higher. Exhale, thread left arm underneath your right. Move your cheek and your shoulder down to your mat. Reach your right arm forward and hug your hips back to center line. Hips nice and square. And then breathe and feel into what this pose has to offer you. Okay, guide your right hand back underneath your right shoulder. Inhale, lift your left arm up to the sky. Stretch and open your chest. Exhale, tabletop, bring your left hand back down. Okay, tuck your toes under. Inhale, little cow. Lift your chin, look forward, open your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Press your hips up and back. Move your heels down towards the back of your mat. Bring your hands Shoulder distance apart, feet hip width distance apart. And then you can find some softness in your knees, maybe a little bounce. Keep breathing here, maybe a kettle of your feet. You can bend one knee, bend the other. A few options for movement, whatever your body needs. If you're neck is holding you up in your, this pose, relax your chin in towards your chest and send your stability and your roots into your hands and into your feet. Trace where your breath moves. Take an inhale. And exhale. Inhale, lift your heels, come high onto the balls of your feet and bend your knees. Exhale, take your hips slightly over to the right hand side. Just feel that out. Big stretch into your left armpit, maybe into your left hip. And then inhale, bring your hips up through center. Exhale, take them over to the left hand side and hold and breathe. This can be as big or as small of a movement as you would like. Okay, inhale, come through center. Knees bent, exhale, hips over to the right hand side and breathe. And one more time, inhale up through center. Bend your knees, hips over to the left hand side, little swivel on the balls of your feet. Okay, inhale back to center. Exhale, lengthen through your legs slightly, hips up and back down, we're facing down. Okay, inhale, look forward, bend your knees. Exhale, slowly walk your feet up towards your hands, feel this out. Until you land, toes behind your wrists, ground through your feet, bend your knees as much as you need to, and then offer your chin in towards your chest. And then reach opposite hands, opposite elbow, Ragdoll. Use each inhale to create some length and space and each exhale to fold maybe a bit deeper. Release your hands down to your mat. 
heel toe your big toes to touch leave a little space between your heels inhale halfway lift lengthen your spine scoop your chest roll your shoulders back exhale forward fold melts your belly down towards your thighs again inhale halfway lift you can bend your knees as much as you need to exhale forward fold melt and release rise to stand tadasana high mountain inhale arms up alongside your ears exhale draw your hands together in prayer at your heart center a moment to close your eyes and pause here and come back to that lift pathway up and down the length of your spine from your base to your crown pulsating energy inhale high mountain reach your arms up exhale fold forward from your hips bow down and hinge inhale halfway lift exhale high plank ground your palms and step your feet towards the back of your mat stay for your inhale exhale lower your knees down to your mat inhale shift your weight forward shoulders in line with your wrists and then exhale elbows in and lower down to your belly chin to your mat hand underneath your shoulders inhale cobra pose lift your head neck and shoulders tuck your chin squeeze your elbows back exhale forehead to your mat inhale tabletop rise up exhale child's pose belly down hips down forehead down and then inhale tabletop roll up through your spine tuck your toes exhale downward facing dog lift your hips and press your heels back okay we'll move through that three more times just to warm up and generate some heat in your body inhale bend your knees look forward exhale feet to your hands you can take a walk or step or jump it through inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold inhale tadasana high mountain stand up Exhale, hands to your heart, Samasiti Hi. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, high plank. Hands down, step back. Okay. Inhale, shift forward, lower your knees. Exhale to your belly, elbows and lie down. Inhale, cobra. Send your heart forward, keep your toenails down. And exhale, release forehead to your mat. Inhale, tabletop, press up. Exhale, child's pose. Inhale, tabletop, rise. Exhale, down dog, tuck your toes. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, feet to your hands. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, high plank. Inhale, knees down, shift forward. Exhale to your belly, elbows in. Inhale, cobra. Squeeze your elbows, maybe you lift a little bit higher. Exhale, forehead to your mat. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, child's pose, ground energy down. Okay, last time, inhale, roll through your spine, table, tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift up and back. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, feet to your hands. Inhale, half lift. Scoop your chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, high mountain. Exhale, hands to your heart. Inhale, high mountain, reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Exhale, high plank, ground your palms. Okay. Option to keep your knees lifted for this one if you would like. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, chaturanga lower halfway or all the way to your belly if you would like. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra like we did before. Exhale, downward facing dog. We meet three breaths here. Inhale, raise your right leg to the sky, three-legged dog. Exhale, tuck your knee to your nose, come forward, round your shoulder blades. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg up. Exhale, low lunge, step your foot between your hands, and then lower your left knee to your mat, and untuck your toes. A crescent moon, Anjali Anasana, right, arms alongside your ears, hold and breathe. Lengthen your tailbone down. Welcome in some softness where you can. And take a deep breath in. Exhale, half splits. Glide your hips back, flex your right toes and fold your torso in towards your shin. And then use your breath as you inhale, lengthen up and out of your hip crease. Exhale, fold your nose a little bit closer to your toes. And one more like that, inhale, lengthen up and away. Exhale, fold a little bit deeper. Okay, hands forward to your mat, inhale, tuck your left toes, shift forward to a low lunge. Exhale, Prasarita, turn to your left. It's a wide-legged fold with your toes and your heels out. Press through the outer edges of your feet and bend your knees as much as you need to. And you can fold head, neck and shoulders heavy here. Take a little bit of movement if that feels good side to side. And bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Inhale, halfway lift your chest, create a bit of space. Exhale, skandhasana to the back of your mat, bend your left knee. Turn your left toes out slightly, sit your hips low and flex your right toes. You can keep your hands on your mat here and breathe. Okay, inhale, skandhasana towards the top of your mat. Exhale, skandasana towards the back once more. We'll do that again. Inhale, skandasana to the top. You can use your hands to help you. Exhale, skandasana to the back of your mat. Okay, inhale to a low lunge, top of your mat. Square your hips and ground your palms. Exhale, high plank, step your right foot back. And then inhale, send your chest forward. You can use your knees. Exhale, chaturanga, elbows in or all the way down to your belly. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Send your heart forward, open your chest. Exhale, down dog, hips up, heels back, just two breaths. Okay, inhale, left leg up, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, tap. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, step forward, and then lower your right knee all the way down to your mat and tuck your toes. Anjani Asana to stay and breathe. Sweep your arms alongside your ears. Feel into the press of your left heel down as well as your right big toe to stabilize your leg. Deep breath in. Exhale, half splits. Move your hips back, fingertips to your mat, and flex your left toes. And then a little bit of movement here with your breath. So inhale, feel for that energetic length through your spine. 
and exhale that little fold and then one more like that inhale lift up and out of your hip crease and exhale fold it in a little bit deeper okay hands forward tuck your right toes under inhale low lunge come forward lift your right knee exhale prasarita turn to your right wide-legged fold toes and heels out relax your head neck and shoulders and the feet really important in your foundation so press through the outer edges of your feet support your fold your hands underneath your shoulders inhale halfway lift lengthen and create space exhale skandhasana to the back of your mat bend your right knee turn your right toes out and sit your hips nice and low okay inhale skandhasana to the top of your mat glide your way through center exhale skandhasana to the back of your mat hips low and one more time each side inhale skanda you can use any arms exhale skandhasana to the back and then inhale, low lunge, top of your mat, ground your palms. Exhale, high plank, left foot back, press down through your feet and your hands. Inhale, rock forward onto the tips of your toes. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing down. Lift out of your lower back, press your toes down. Exhale, downward facing down. Hips up, heels down. And let's breathe here, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, raise your right leg, three-legged dog. Exhale, draw knee to nose. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, step forward. Ground down through the outer edge of your left foot. Keep your right toes facing forward, warrior two feet. And then rise to warrior two. Windmill your left arm up and around and lunge forward into your right knee. Warrior two, hold and breathe. So take a look at your feet, right heel intersects your left foot in the center. And then bring your shoulders in line with your hips. Okay, keep your legs, inhale, reverse your warrior, reach your right arm alongside your ear. Exhale, extended side angle, left arm forward, hold here and breathe. So feel into where this posture is challenging your body. Maybe there's parts where it feels easy. Beautiful. Inhale, rise up to star. Fingertips to the sky. Turn your toes out and your heels in. Exhale for horse. Bend your knees. Bring your elbows to your ribs and sit your hips down low. Okay, again, inhale, star. Come up. Exhale, horse. Elbows in. Sit low. Squeeze the tips of your shoulder blades. Inhale, star. Reach up. Exhale, horse and eagle. Your left arm underneath your right so wrapping forearms elbows maybe the backs of your hands or your palms connect tuck your tailbone soften your shoulders from your ears and reach your fingertips up towards the sky feel that stretch in your upper back between your shoulder blades okay a little bit of movement here inhale take your fingertips up forearms forward exhale curl in Elbows towards your navel, forehead towards your forearms. Two more like that. Inhale, open chest, reach up. Exhale, fold in. Feel into any discomfort. Inhale, one more time. Exhale, curl. Okay, unwind to star. Inhale, feel the flush of your arms. Exhale, warrior two, top of your mat, rearrange your feet. Inhale, reverse your warrior, lean back, reach back. Exhale, chaturanga, or you can skip it straight to downward facing dog, however your body wants to move. Inhale, up dog.
Exhale, down dog. Three, arrive. Inhale, left leg up, three legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, three legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, step forward. And then find your warrior two feet. Ground the outer edge of your right foot parallel to the back of your mat. Left toes face forward. Inhale, warrior two. Lift your shoulders in line with your hips. Parallel your arms. Lunge into your left knee. And breathe here. You're welcome to close your eyes. Permission to feel into your body. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Left arm along your ear. Lean back. Exhale, extended side angle. Right arm forward. Hold and breathe. You inhale, rise up to star. Turn your toes out, heels, and reach up. Exhale, horse bend your knees and squeeze, pull down. Inhale, star. Exhale, horse. Full breath with movement. Inhale, star, reach up. Exhale, horse, eagle, right arm underneath your left. Press the backs of your hands, your palms together. Maybe you just clasp your fingertips. And then soften your shoulders, breathe into discomfort, lengthen your fingertips up as you move your forearms forward. And then inhale, take a little back bend, lift up. Exhale, curl and round, elbows in. Again, inhale, lift up, lean back. And exhale, fold. One more time, inhale. And exhale. Inhale, star, unwind your arms, reach up. Exhale, warrior two, top of your mat. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach back. Exhale, chaturanga, or skip it. Adjust as you need to. Find your flow. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, down dog. You close your eyes here. Two breaths, deep inhale. Let it go. One more time. Breathe in. And breathe out. And inhale, bend your knees, look forward. And exhale, come through to a seat. At the top of your mat. Really nice work, everybody. And onto your sitting bones. We'll move into Supta Baddha Konasana. The soles of your feet together, or Baddha Konasana rather, we're staying upright for now. Soles of your feet together, knees nice and wide like a butterfly. So you can adjust the distance between your ankles and your hips as you need to. So take them far out if that feels good, or bring them closer if that feels better. Okay, hands down onto your knees or your shins. Inhale to so lengthen through your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Reach over your toes. And we'll be here for six breaths. Option to bring a block or a pillow underneath your forehead if you would like to rest it there or just hold another four breaths. Tuck your chin in towards your chest. From the base of your spine, roll up. So there is no rush here. Allow your head to kind of last stack it. Close your eyes, sort of pull, breathe down as you rise up. And bring your hands outside of your knees. Use a bit of resistance here to 
hug your inner thighs together. So press your knees into your hands, your hands into your knees. And then once your knees touch, give yourself a big hug. Wrap your forearms around your knees and your shins and just curl in. Breathe. How do you feel? When you're ready, make your way onto your back and shift your hips forward and lie all the way down. Okay, we're moving into one round of bridge pose here. So bring your heels in towards your bum. Reach your fingertips towards your heels. Head, neck and shoulders down and gaze straight up towards the ceiling. And then press down through your feet and your hands. Send your knees forward away from your body as your hips lift up to the sky. Okay, eight breaths. You can take a restorative bridge with a block underneath your pelvis if that feels good. You can take an interlace of your hands and shimmy your shoulders a bit closer together. Another six breaths. Big, deep stretch through the front line of your body and working into your heart space. Take one more inhale and exhale slowly roll from your upper back down through your middle back, tuck your tailbone, lower back to your mat. Okay, then knock your knees into touch, heel toe your feet a little bit wider than your hips. Place your palms up towards the ceiling, close your eyes and receive. Receive whatever it is you feel. Sutta Baddha Konasana, heel toe the soles of your feet to touch, take your knees wide like a diamond, tuck your tailbone, find length through your spine, and then bring your left hand to rest right down on your lower belly, and your right hand, place it on top of the crown of your head, just gently there. Close your eyes. Come back to your breath. You flood your body, your energy system with love, with compassion and with kindness for wherever you are today. Release, bring your hands to the outside of your knees. And like we did before, a bit of resistance to draw your inner thighs back together. And then hug your knees, both of them, up and towards your chest. Give yourself a little hug and take a rock from side to side. Just massage your lower spine. And give yourself one final squeeze here. 
Wrap yourself up into the smallest and tightest little ball that you can. And thank yourself, thank your body for your practice. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, Shavasana. Lie down onto your mat, corpse pose. Relax your arms alongside your body. Relax your legs wide. Maybe your eyes to close. Take any last moments of movement, of fidget. To settle in to receive the magic of your practice. Take a deep breath in and sigh it out. Be completely still. Move yourself into that space, that deep internal space within where you are always held. The rain is falling down Like all the souls you send here Coming to this earth To find Very gently. Begin to move into the tips of your fingers and the tips of your toes.
explore movement like it is the very first time that you have ever moved your body. Feel this newness. And you can make this movement a bit bigger. Maybe you start to stretch or yawn or move the features of your face. And then when you're ready, roll onto your right side, fetal position, knees into your chest. Rest your head on your arm as a pillow. And then when you're ready, find your way up to a seat. Like you began your practice, Sit up tall, pay attention, be present. And once you've found your seat, Starting at the crown of your head, connect to that violet glow. And gently draw energy in. So bring that violet glow back down to a little ember. Not closing off completely, but just hugging our energy in towards our center for protection, moving down the indigo between your brow, just gently draw it in slightly, and down to your throat, the blue glow, contract it in, not to close, not to block, Just to hold yourself. And that green glow of your heart space. Draw it in, but maybe you leave that one a little bit more open. We need a lot of love, we need a lot of compassion at this time. And moving down, solar plexus, yellow glow, draw it in gently. And down to the space below your navel, the orange light, gently draw it in and finally down to the base of your spine, that red light, red ember, drawing it in gently. Containment. Bring your hands together in prayer at your heart center in acknowledgement for your practice. Gratitude to yourself and each and every other person for stepping into feeling this evening. Together, as we heal ourselves, we impact the world around us. So much, much gratitude from me to all of you. Thank you so much for being here, for joining me this evening. I wish you safety. I wish you health. And I wish you strength during whatever challenge 
you may face in the coming weeks and months. Have a beautiful rest. Namaste.